home. Oh my god, this is the title of a porn video. <laughs> Oh, we're going to jail. It's smaller than we expected, it's busier than I expected. You can also be uh, a mountaineer like me. <laughs> but you don't get the fun adventure and are we supposed to go in here? Kind of vibe, which is the fun part. Cause it's pretty, oh so pretty. And we're yeah. gonna, we have to cross it going back in to town. It caught us off guard. But take a look at this. I know I closed off the day, but I have somebody to introduce to you all. Now we have migrated south from Luang Prabang. We are on our next stop, Viang Vieng, I think, somewhere like that. So on today's adventure, we are heading out to find Blue Lagoon. You may have heard of it in Laos. They're uh, really famous apparently, because Viang Vien, Vien was once the like party destination in the whole of Laos. So we've decided to come here for New Year's 2022. Um, we've got a couple of days beforehand. So today's mission, we've obviously hired mopeds again, but before we head out, Look at that view, absolutely gorgeous. If you haven't watched my Luang Prabang uh, vlog series yet, I give you plenty of reasons to visit this country uh, from just that one town in the north alone. But here's another good reason. The views down here are fantastic. So obviously I have to introduce my assistant for the day. Here is the kinky kumquat. <laughs> kinky what? Kumquat. Here is the kinky kum, kum, kinky kum quat. I can't even say it without laughing. So we've managed to make it down to K in our fruits. We're doing all right. It's getting a little bit challenging somewhere, sometimes. So if you've been to this location and you know what I'm about to walk into, let me know in the comments below how fantastic today's gonna be. Um, ready? Ready. Ready, let's go. Let's rock and roll. Have you seen Luan Prabang video? Uh, if you haven't, we borrowed motorbikes up there and one of hers, was a yellow moped, so she called it Bumblebee. Obviously. Now <laughs> she has a black moped and she has called it The Black Cobra. <laughs> it's really spanky. <laughs> I mean, cool rider, right? But it does look pretty tidy. It's a brand new motorbike. Um, we managed to get it directly through the hotel, which makes everything easy. My black cobra, because I strike. <laughs> <laughs> In, stay away, stay away. I'm you are no longer, okay. you are no longer allowed to be in the vlogs. <laughs> okay, so we've got uh, the kinky kumquat. With the black cobra, with riding the black, the black cobra. cobra. Oh my God, this is the title of a porn video. <laughs> oh, we're going to jail. Right, so onwards and upwards. Uh, I think this is about a 40 minute drive or so. So, and I've got a bloody step through. They call step throughs manuals here. They screwed me over, man, I'm telling you. Step throughs are very difficult to drive if you've never done them before. But, nevertheless, it's time for an adventure. Let's go! Also, one more thing before we head off, I'm gonna show you how freaking cool I am. With my basket. Dorothy, we're not in Kansas anymore. That's okay, that's alright. Get a buggy, if you can. You're coming to, uh, Blue Lagoon 3, try not to do this on a moped. This is crazy, bumpy, and the cars that whip past you kick up a ton of dust. So you end up being choked out, gassed out. Whoa, that's one hell of a ride. You get covered in dust. Can like you can see. You can't see it so much because it's oh. shaded. We are absolutely covered in dust. <laughs> but we've made it to the Blue Lagoon 3. Um, it's smaller than we expected, it's busier than I expected, but it does look like this and it's quite pretty. If you get in the water, it'll be cool. If we don't get in the water, it's gonna be cold. It's, so cold it's gonna be shit. cold. Anyways, let's go put our tootsies in the water. Let's have a look. We dipped our toes in the water. It's not so bad. So I'm just gonna go in first. She's gonna brave it. It's warmer than you think, not like um, the waterfall. At um, that was that was like freezing. That was like painfully cold. This is all right considering we're in the shade. I've seen uh, some other people in YouTube have been told off putting their partners or their friends in bikinis. She doesn't want to. She's already cold. Uh, well, I'm coming with you to the end. Okay. Because of YouTube regulations, this is now going to be fuzzy, but her face won't, so you'll catch the reaction. 
cold. Sit down and relax it. Okay, it's not as cold as I as I thought. The other thing you can do at the Blue Lagoon is uh, like a little rip swing. And the wife has nominated herself so we can capture awesome drone footage. But she's super nervous because on the other side of the lake, it's literally everybody watching. It's a bit strange. Not for the YouTubes. <laughs> It is the hero of the hour, as you saw from that awesome drone shot. M here decided to be the volunteer and jumped into the water. Review, how was it? In the beginning, it's shockingly cold. Actually, no, if you dip your foot in, you're like, oh, it's not that cold. When you get in fully, it's cold. But then when you jump in, it's okay. It's not that bad. But then when you come out, it's really cold again. But it was fun. Yeah. But I'm cold. Glad you did it. <laughs> Yeah, I'm glad I did, it was really fun. It's a bit nerve-wracking actually. It's a lot more nerve-wracking than it looks. When I saw it, I was like, oh yeah, that's dead easy. When you get up there, because it's quite slippery, I, I kept having this image where like, I'm gonna latch onto it and just fall straight in and everyone's gonna laugh at me. That would've been <laughs> hilarious because I would've caught that on the drone as well. There you go, so after Em's been in and said how cold it was, I've decided I'm not gonna go in and I'm not that bothered. I think in the morning, with the sun shining, it would be yeah. a lot nicer. Yeah. He just went in dry as well, so I bet that's cold. Right, I'm calling Em out. After she stood there, her fishes, and she was like, oh, it's really awkward. People are sat on the edges and they can watch everything you're doing. She then stopped to watch another stranger in a bikini use the uh, rope swing. She did what she complained about. The definition of a woman. Well, I was in what, you weren't like, yeah, you can do it. I you just stood there, no, she, smiling at her she over at your me, eyebrows. She looked at me, I gave her an like encouraging a smile, a thumbs up, but you can do it. That's all a lie, I was there. <laughs> That's all cap. Instead of heading back, there's actually a couple of other things that you can do at uh, Blue Lagoon 3. One is go see a cave, and the other one is a viewpoint. So we're gonna go see a cave. I hope this ladder, uh, this thing doesn't break. And uh, that's it really, isn't it? Just gonna go see a cave. Let's go have a look. That's okay. that's all right. that's okay. Useful tip. If you're doing this viewpoint, don't come in Birkenstocks. <laughs> like the kinky kumquat. Birkenstocks. This is a bit of a steep climb. Now, if you've got long legs, you're okay. If you've got little legs, it's a bit of a struggle, I think. <laughs> yeah, if you're flexible, you're fine. But after you've uh, completed your mountaineering course, you don't have to go straight up a ladder. <laughs> Off you trot. Reality check. Some of these plants here. Huge leaves. New name, new name. I'm gonna call her Tarzan. She's picking up roots to assist her with her climb because she's only got little legs. We're not too sure if we've gone the right way. No. So we've climbed the ladder and this is now our next step. That's quite a small hole. And we've got backpackers on. Well, I've got backpack on. But we're gonna have a look because there's a ladder here and it doesn't say do not enter. And everything seems pretty secure. This whole rock complex mountain is being held up by this wooden beam. So I'm confident it will stay there. <laughs> Let's have a look. It's a bit of a squeeze. 
and we don't think this is the right way. And if you've got a bag with you, it's even more of a squeeze. But, but there's nothing to say you can't do it. With a little bit of character, determination, you can also be uh, a mountaineer like me. <laughs> <laughs> it's a proper adventure. Look at that tiny little hole. We just climbed through that. We, uh, do you know what? We don't even know if this is the way. Or we're assuming it's the way because, I mean, there's like man-made objects here. I hope I do not find a yeti. Yetis eat people. See you later. Let's have a look. You can hear a cow complaining down there. We made it. We did. This is very pretty. But you don't need to climb it to see it. Like you can get the exact same view from down on the paddy field. <laughs> but you don't get the fun adventure and are we supposed to go in here kind of vibe, which is the fun part. It was fun, I enjoyed it. It was fun. Yeah. Viewpoint score, rate it out of 10. As a viewpoint, eh, I don't know, four out of 10? Yeah. Four, five out of 10. It's Unfortunately, I think, you know what, actually saying that, the viewpoint is beautiful. I'll show you one more time. Now, you, you can't deny that that's not beautiful, but now we have a drone and I can get views like that anywhere I want. It takes this magical moment away because there's no way you'd be able to catch such a flat, yeah. picturesque moment that's true. without being up here. Yeah, that's true. But the adventure to get here was fun. I did enjoy yeah, that. Yeah, I would recommend it on the adventure. So yes, you do climb the ladder, you do go through the cave and you do follow the path up and around. And if you're lucky, you'll be the only two people here. <laughs> yeah, when you think that you can't go any any further, then that means you're on the right track. Yeah, and you can't go any further when there's a literal drop. So after that amazing drone footage, we are now going to head back down to the motorbikes and make our way home before the sun sets. Beautiful spot. Beautiful little hike up. Um, not a bad day. Okay, so it turns out there are two ways to get up to the viewpoint. That tiny little space. Um, one is by the actual lake, the lagoon, whatever you want to call it, um, where it's clearly labeled lagoon. No, viewpoint. <laughs> um, and the other one is if you keep walking around to the cave, which is labelled, there's another sign that pops up that says uh, viewpoint. Let's call that number two. Number two is a lot harder than number one. It's a lot more demanding, but it's not very long. Um, hence you don't want to do it in broken stocks. Uh, number one by the lagoon is a lot more easier. It's almost like it's semi carved into the mountain. Semi. Um, however, I wouldn't want to do this in rainy season, this would be very slippery. And I wouldn't want to do this with nothing but trainers. So keep that in mind when you visit Blue Lagoon, cause it's pretty, oh so pretty. No, it's uh, singing in the rain. I was thinking of singing in the rain. Don't know why I sang that song. It's raining. <laughs> this has been a good venture, as I said in the waypoint. Viewpoint. Ooh, moose fell. Viewpoint. That's the first marker. Right by the water. That way is steep, but it's probably easier than number two. This is the aftermath. Oh. <laughs> the motorbike back was uh, focused super focused because it's really gravelly uh, and there's a lot of dust. Um, we've got it in our eyes, we've got it on our, up our nose, we've got it everywhere. So I just wanted to focus because I got itty bitty tires too. Look at that. And 
the bike was swinging all over the place. But it's so dusty. Let me show you what M looks like right now. <laughs> Can you see? Yeah, all of this, all of this down here, all of this. Oh, my new scarf as well. And a new scarf covered in dust. But on the plus side, we are just stopped to, we wanted to show you this, this. So we had to cross this bridge coming out to Blue Lagoon and we're gonna, <laughs> we have to cross it going back in to town. It's caught us off guard. But take a look at this. That is rickety and odd and definitely not safe, and but it's can, also fun. You can see the queue as well. Yeah. It's only suitable for bikes, so as soon as you bring something like a, a triped thing in, yeah, you're screwed, there's a whole traffic. We're gonna go eat now in Kiwi Kitchen. We thought it was appropriate for the floating kiwi to eat in Kiwi's Kitchen. Okay, so that brings us to the end of day one. Oh, day one. Yep. <laughs> day one. Day one. Might have a water adventure tomorrow. Might go get a kayak. So uh, we'll find out. Tomorrow tonight. should be quite good. But um, to wrap up today, I get to eat it with a brownie and some vanilla ice cream. Right, well, we're clocking out. We'll see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. I know I closed off the day, but I have somebody to introduce to you all. Um, his name is Momo. He's a short uh, Southeast Asian breed and he's fantastic. Look at Momo. Oh, boy flex is going. <laughs> it's too much. <laughs> he is adorable. There it is. <laughs> so jelly. Yeah, Momo.